Hello techies, welcome back to our channel UiPath Bots. In this video, we are going to learn about output methods. In our previous video sessions, we have learned about input methods and input activities available in UiPath Studio, right? Now let us see uh, the output methods which are available in our UiPath Studio. There are three output methods in UiPath Studio. First one is full text, second native and third OCR. First of all output methods. Why, what are these output methods and why we use output methods? Output methods are the methods, the technology which being used by the output activities in order to extract data from UI elements. When we are doing uh, user interface automation using UiPath Studio, there should be a technology or there should be some set of instructions or the process to be followed by output activities to get the data from UI elements, right? To read the data from the UI elements. UI elements in the sense, the elements that are available, the fields that are available in the uh, user interface application whether it is a desktop application or any web application so when we want to read some data from the user application user interface application we are going to use some output activities let us talk about the output activities later so now uh, th there should be some instructions or the process or a technology to be followed by the activities right those are called as output methods and now we have some three methods in UiPath Studio. Let us see in detail what these three uh, will do and uh, when to use which method. Okay, now let us go for uh, an Excel to show to learn about the differences between this full text native and OCR output methods. So let us see its uh, functionality first, default or uh, and cap compatibility. Okay, now full text is the default method. It can be used in most of the cases. Most. Now let us move on to native. Native especially it will be uh, compatible for the GDI applications. GDI means graphical design interface. Okay. So the applications which are developed using which 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 have uh, com uh, compatible for graphical design interface in such applications we should go for native. So this will completely rely on Microsoft API. Okay. Now let us move on to OCR. OCR full form is optical character recognition. recognition technology so in the meaning it's a, uh, in, in the name itself we can understand it it is reading the character uh, character to character and its uh, position right so it is completely reliable on character design and its position okay and also it is completely works in virtual environment. So when we want to uh, read some data from virtual environments, we are supposed to go for OCR. Okay. Also, this one actually uh, can read the text from images. Okay. So now let's move on to the next uh, one. 
is okay speed full text is very fast fastest fastest method okay whereas native is moderate uh, we can say like um, fast in the applications with gdi it supports gdi okay uh, whereas uh, ocr1 is a bit slow why because it depends on uh, it, it differs from text to text so based on the uh, by changing its uh, settings we can improve the speed settings we can improve its speed okay now let us move on to the next feature that is accuracy this is 100% accurate again this one it is 100% accurate in applications that support gdi okay again the same here for ocr also uh, the accuracy can be changed the accuracy can be changed by setting this uh, by changing the uh, settings so and it is differ it differs from text to text okay now let us move on to the next one control s let me see next runs in background runs in background or not yes this runs in background no this cannot run in background even ocr cannot run in background because ocr and native it completely reliable on the gdi interface right the graphical design and the optical character so it will not work on the background let us move on to the next one that is virtual environment whether it supports the virtual environment or not now right as i said uh, even in native also we cannot uh, this do, does not work in virtual whereas the optical recognition uh, character uh, method this this one optical character recognition method which will always work in the virtual environments yes so this is what is the difference in terms of virtual environment now let us do now let us check for the hidden text whether uh, full text can read the hidden text yes it can read the uh, hidden text whereas the native method cannot read the hidden text even in uh, OCR also because it will be reading the text from the images okay now right now let us move on to the next one that is text, text position and text position and format reading okay so when we when the activity output activity extracting the data whether it is uh, extracting the position of the text and also the format of the text because if you see here this if, if you see this position of the speed 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 text it is left uh, left aligned and also it has some calibri uh, font and 11 size is uh, 11 and uh, and color also it, it has some blue color right 
so this is the design and position and format of this particular text okay so whether uh, it is reading this text uh, position and format or not is the question in full text method it will not read the no it is not going to read the text position and format it is completely reading the text alone whereas the native yes it will read the text position and format for example could be the color and size etc okay so all this can be readable even in ocr also the same similar to native it will read the text it can read the text position and formatting whereas there will be an option whether to read uh, position and format along with the text or not in these two methods okay uh, then let us move on to the next one okay so let us go back and check now full text functionality and compatibility it is a default method used in most cases and it is uh, native whereas native will completely reliable on graphical design interface kind of applications and ocr it is optical character recognition so it will work in virtual environment character designs and its position it, it will completely reliable on the character design and the position it can read text from the images and coming to speed, the full text is the fastest method compared to native and OCR. And OCR is the very slow method. Accuracy, full text is 100% accurate, whereas native uh, can be 100% accurate in applications that support GDI. Whereas OCR, it differs from text to text by changing the settings in, uh, 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 in OCR method, we can uh, increase the accuracy rate. Now, uh, full text can run in... Uh, background whereas native and OCR cannot run in background because these two completely reliable on the interface virtual environment full text cannot work in virtual environment whereas native uh, whereas OCR can work in virtual environment similarly native can also uh, cannot work in virtual environment coming to hidden text hidden text yes full text can read the hidden text whereas there is an option there will be an option whether to read full uh, hidden text or not okay in full text uh, whereas in native and OCO there won't be any um, option to read the hidden text next text position and format no full text is not going to read the text position and format completely it reads the text alone whereas native and OCO can read the position and format of the text now in OCR it, it has some default engines. <coughs> Sorry. It has some uh, engines that, that are Google Tesseract engine default and also uh, Microsoft uh, Modi. So these are the default uh, uh, search engines in OCR whereas we can configure some other um, uh, search engines also like Abbey and all uh, which are free of cost okay so that's it in a high level the differences between this full text native and OCR uh, methods when to use this based on the need we can decide which one to use so this is an important interview question if you are a UiPath developer so please try to understand this on a, a full-fledged manner. So I hope you got a clear information on this output methods. If you like this video, please do subscribe our channel. And for more videos, please do not forget to click on the bell icon and select all option. Please do share these videos with your friends and colleagues. And thank you so much for your valuable support. Meet you through our next videos. Till then, happy learning and happy automation. Bye-bye.